Hello, friends and family. Good morning, good afternoon, and, and good, good evening. evening. Well, today is Monday, and welcome to our Monday devotion. And we're still talking about Jesus, I need you. And so with that, let us pray. Father, once again, we thank you for this beautiful day na binigay mo sa amin, Panginoon. And once again, Lord, we welcome you into our hearts. We need you. Speak to us, Lord God. Show us things that we need to know, Panginoon. And Lord, again, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Yes. So again, we're talking about Jesus. I need you going through different points of why we need Jesus. And, uh, you know, this can go actually forever. Uh, but this will really be a long devotion series. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure which one we're on now. But then um, let's go ahead and read the devotion for today. Immediately after he, talking about Jesus, immediately after he emerged from the waters of Jordan and heard the affirmation from his heavenly father, Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness where he was tempted by his enemy, the devil. When he was hungry, weary, and at his weakest point, the tempter launched his most pointed attack. Mm -hmm. It was directed, it was direct, it was personal, and it was custom designed for the Son of God who would serve, who, who would serve, who would Jesus serve? Who would the Son of God bow his allegiance to? And at what price? So I'm going to go ahead and um, share a few points here. It says, while Jesus was hungry, weary, and at his weakest point, the tempter, which is Satan, launched his most pointed attack. It was direct. It was personal. And it was custom designed for the Son of God. And so, ganun na naging... Uh, atake ni Satanas no, sa buhay ng ating uh, Panginoon, na si Jesus Christ. It was direct. It was a direct attack on him. It was personal. It was custom design. He met Jesus at his weakest point. And so he was aiming to destroy Jesus. And so the question here is, who would Jesus serve? Who would the Son of God bow his allegiance to and at what price? Let's go on. Jesus took his stand, rejected the lies, and refuted the devil with the written word of God. Finally, he demonstrated his divine authority over the evil one, commanding Satan to be gone. According to Matthew chapter 4, 10 and 11, no compromise, no concession victory. Are you in Christ? So the question here is, are you in Christ? Kung ikaw ay isang Christiano, you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. If so, his enemy is your enemy. So kung sino ang kalaban o kaaway ni Jesus Christ, siya din ang kalaban natin. Mm -hmm. Satan was the enemy, is and was the enemy of Jesus. Satan was the one that went to Jesus to tempt him. Satan also is your enemy. As he knew Jesus, he knows you. So, kilala ka din ni Satanas. He knows your weaknesses. Alam niya ang mga kahinaan mo. He knows the exact opening to squeeze through to get a position of advantage to take you down. So, the enemy Satan and the evil spirits, he studies us. Mm -hmm. He watches us. The Bible says, like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And so he watches you. He studies your weaknesses. He finds an opening. And he squeezes through that opening to get to a position of advantage. With the purpose or for the purpose of taking you down. The devotion says it will be direct. It will be personal. And it will be custom designed for you. So the attack of the enemy on my life will be different on your life. Because yes. he studies my weaknesses just as he studies your weaknesses. Alam niya ang kahinaan ko. Alam niya din ang kahinaan mo. So when he comes to tempt me, when he comes to, destroys me, to destroy me, he uses my weaknesses. He finds an open door through my weakness in order to pull me down. 
at ganun din sa atin lahat, ganun din sa inyo. The temptation of the enemy, the attack of the enemy on you will be direct, it will be personal, and it will be custom designed. You have been observed. When Jesus overcame Satan's temptations in the wilderness, he overcame for us. Goodness. Now, we talked about the direct and personal and custom-designed uh, attacks of the enemy upon your life. But it doesn't end there. It's not like, you know, we're hopeless and Satan is going to take advantage of us. The next part of this devotion says, when Jesus overcame, so Jesus overcame the enemy. When Jesus overcame Satan's temptations in the wilderness, he overcame for us. So, anong, kung anong ginawa ni, ni Jesus dun sa kanyang temptations in the wilderness, yan din ang ginawa niya para sa atin. His victory over sin and the devil ensures our ultimate victory yes, well. as well. Amen? Goodness. Amen. So it's not like we're hopeless. It's not like we're helpless. And Satan knows everything about us. And he's going to destroy us because his, his temptations, his attack on us is personal, is custom designed. And parang wala tayong hope. No, that's a lie of the enemy. Jesus overcame Satan's temptation and he overcame for us. His victory over sin and the devil ensures our ultimate victory as well. And you have the same weapons Jesus used. You have the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. So don't be deceived. Think eternally. Stand firm. Amen. How much we need to be reminded that, his, that this world we live in lasts only for a moment. How often do we find ourselves listening to and being convinced by Satan's self-centered, worldly, wicked, warped way of thinking? He can be so convincing. We must then confess that we have believed the lies and have not used God's word as a defense. The enemy Satan comes again with a custom-designed um, attack on mm, you. Yeah. He speaks to you. He speaks to your mind. And minsan talaga many times we listen to him and we believe what he says we, you're no good, you're nothing, you're a failure you're going to lose you have, there's nothing good about you sometimes we listen to those lies and we end up falling because we listen to the lies of the enemy he can be so convincing so we must then confess that we have believed the lies and mm -hmm. have not used God's word as a defense if you have believed the lies of the enemy spoken against you, you need to confess that. And then starting, start using the word of God as your defense. Yes. Our eyes focus on the difficulties, but the Lord reminds us to be thankful always. Thank him for his word and for his spirit. Yes. Ask God for wisdom to see the ways of the enemy. For ears to recognize his lies. And for the strength and faith to stand firm against him. So ask God for wisdom. Na ma determine natin, may recognize natin yung ways ng kaaway. Ears to recognize his lies and strength and faith to be able to stand firm against him. Choose the truth today mm -hmm. and apply it to your heart. Again, mm -hmm. take this devotion, a very important devotion. You know, Satan wants to sift you. He wants to, he wants to destroy you. And so we need to take this word and meditate upon it throughout the week and allow God to give us wisdom, give us strength, and to give us faith. Matthew 4 verse 1 says, And the Spirit lead, led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. These are our scripture references. Mm -hmm. And then Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 to verse 11 says, Jesus said to him, he told Satan, Get away, Satan! Scripture says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels came and took care of him. Yes. So Jesus overcame. He told the enemy, Satan, to leave, to go away. Satan left him. The angels came and ministered to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. so just as Jesus was able to overcome, you and I, we can overcome Every form of temptation that Satan throws against us, we can overcome through Christ. Yes. Remember, we all have weaknesses. And these weaknesses 
can become our strength if we put our trust in God, if we recognize them as weaknesses, ask God for strength and put our trust in God, these weaknesses can turn into our strength. But also these weaknesses can be a way of the enemy to destroy you. So let's ask God for wisdom to see the ways of the enemy, ears to recognize his lies, and for strength and faith to be able to stand firm against yes. the tactics mm. of the enemy, Satan. Mm. Amen. Mm -mm. Amen. Pastor Arnell. Mm. So we can see that Jesus being the Son of God, hindi po siya exempted sa temptations, attack ng devil. Mm -hmm. How much more sa atin din? He will attack us. He will tempt us. But the good thing is, si Jesus, pinakita niya yung way for us upang maging matagumpay din tayo. Amen. So, napansin din natin, he was attacked at the moment na siya ay nanghina or mahina. Mm -hmm. And ganun din tayo. Times na mahina tayo, nag-iisa tayo, wala tayong matakbuhan, madalas dun tayo inaatake ng kaaway. The devil will attack us in our weakness. Kaya sabi nga dun sa ano. But, Notice how Jesus, uh, kung paano siya lumaban. And first, sabi doon, he took his stand. Mm -hmm. He took his stand and uh, rejected the lies. And then, reputed the devil first with the written word of God. Kaya napakalaga ng salita ng Diyos. Amen. That's one of the weapon na binigay sa atin. The word of God ay nagsisilbing weapon natin. It's like a sword na ginagamit natin pang putol sa mga kasinungalingan ng kaaway. Amen. Do we have that weapon? We should have that weapon. The Word of God. Amen. And the problem is, kung hindi natin alam ang salita ng Diyos, paano natin to bibigasin o paano natin to gagamitin. Kaya nga sabi sa salita din, sabi ni Jesus, man shall not live by bread alone, but, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So napakalaga po. Now we read the Bible, we listen to the Word of God, sapagkat isa po yan sa mga gagamitin nating weapon pang laban sa ating kaaway. The written Word of God. Pangalawa, we have the Holy Spirit that will help us in our weakness. Amen. Tutulungan niya tayo sa ating kahinaan. So we have the Word of God, we have the Spirit of God. Amen. So, Another good news is, yung katagumpayan ni Kristo ay katagumpayan din natin. So, it's a good news. Yes, merong temptation, merong attack. Pero kung paano nagtagumpay si Jesus, ganun din. Meron tayong katagumpayan. Binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na magtagumpay sa mga pagsubok na ito, sa mga tukso ng kaaway na ito. Another thing na gusto kong uh, i-share din is sabi ni Jesus, in my name, that the name of Jesus, you can cast out devil or evil spirit sa buhay natin. So, the name of Jesus ay talagang powerful enough to come against the attack of the evil one. So, kilala ng kaaway si Jesus, kilala niya rin tayo. And when we speak the name of Jesus, alam niya na meron tayong katagumpayan. Amen? So, there's hope there is a good news na si Jesus ang ating katagumpayan. Amen. Yes. Mm. Amen. So if you have, um, you know, lost a battle in your life, you know, maybe you failed and you feel like that you are um, a failure and there's no more hope for you. You know, the battle is not over. The war is Amen. not over. Amen. We may fall, the Bible says. The righteous fall seven times. It gets back up seven times. Each time we fall, the hand of God is reaching out to us to pick us back up, to bring us back to victory. We all fail. Mm -hmm. We all fall. But God is always there to pick us back up. So if you fell, if you failed, and you feel like it's over, it's not over yet, God is here to pick you back up, to bring you from victory to victory. Victory can be yours if we will begin to apply the wisdom of God, begin to listen to the Word of God, and begin to operate in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. So those that are watching, we just speak God's blessing on you and praying that you would get back up and not allow the enemy to take advantage of you. God bless you, Paul. Amen. Remember, Jesus, I need you. 
Every day, nagigising po tayo. Speak that word. Let that prayer be in your heart. Lord, I need you. Without you, there's no victory. Without you, there's no thing na magagawa po natin. So we need Jesus every day. And the victory is guaranteed. Kung paano nagtagumpay si Jesus, ganun din po tayo. Every day can be a victory sa buhay po natin. Of course, it's not gonna be easy, but let's trust God, look to Him, and wait upon the Lord. Kung maaaring meron kang pinagdadaanan ngayon, you are in that situation, call upon the name of the Lord, speak the Word of God, and ask the Holy Spirit to empower you. And of course, God is always be there. Amen? Let us pray. Tayo po'y manalangin. Lord, we thank you for the power of your words. We thank you for the power of the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for sending your spirit. And Lord God, thank you that every battle, every temptation, every attack of the devil, the victory is guaranteed because our trust is in you. Our trust is in your word. And we thank you, Jesus, for giving us the victory. And we call upon your name. We look to you, yes. not on our own strength, thank Lord you, God. Jesus. And even now, we thank you. Salamat po sa mga katagumpayan ng buhay. Lord, we thank you. We pray that your spirit will be upon us every day. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you so much. Again, we give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. God bless CRC. God bless the Philippines. And God bless Olongapo. God bless you. Have a great week. And remember to stand firm in the power and the might of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.